Hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, depending on your time when you are watching this video. Imagine your client asks you he need a weekly report, machine-wise operating time. By default, all machine times are recorded in minutes, but he need to see time in days, hours, and minutes as well. First thing which will come in your mind is we need three visual, one for day, second for hour, and third for minutes. But if I will tell you this is possible using a single visual, yes, it is true. Please stay tuned. So on your screen, you can see I have a bar chart and on X axis, you can see all machines name. And on Y axis, I have a machine operating time for weekly. And on right hand side, you can see the one slicer or drop down and if i will click on the drop down i can see minutes hours a day so this this drop depending on the what you have selected depending on the selection it will convert into this values into minutes hours and day so let me select a day so days so now you can see the value in a days now if i will select into hours you can see it is converting into hours now, if I will select into a minutes, you can see it is converting into a minutes. So let me show you the data table. So this is my data table. So we have a machine name and we have a working timing of each machine. So in this video, I will explain you how we can achieve this kind of calculations. So first thing, in the machine table, I have created a three majors. So first major is operating time in minutes. So uh, the timings is already in minutes. So now the second one is timing in hours. So I have used a SUMX function to convert my minutes into hours. So if you do not know how the SUMX function works, so I have a separate video for the SUMX functions and please watch that video and link in description of this video. And the last one is the operating, ta operating time in days. So I have converted my minutes into our days. So these three majors, okay, I have created in machine within a machine table. So now what I'm going to do, I need a one more table which I will create in Power, Power BI. So from home tab, I will go to transform data. I'll click on the transform data and transform data. Again, you have to click on the transform data. So this is the my additional table. So you can see the column name, duration, days, hour and minutes. So if you, this this table I have created in Power BI, but if you do not know how to create, I will tell you how to create. In home tab, you will see enter data click on enter data. So and here you have to give the column name. Duration and here you can enter value, whatever the value you want as per your requirement. Here I'm entering days, hours and minutes. Here you have to give the table name. So I have already added the table, so I'm not going to add the table here. So let me cancel from here. So yes. So this is my table period table. So duration days, hour and minutes. So let me jump to the demo page. In demo page, first I will. Add a one slicer. And I will add a period duration. And you can see all these three values and let me convert it into a drop down and place it somewhere. On the top within it, within the period table, I have created a one important pages. Here I have a variable called option. I have declared one variable and here there is a function DAX function, the selected value period duration. So what this means, whatever the value I have selected in the slicer, it will store in option below i have again one more variable val and i here i am checking if the option is day 
so use my images so which i have created here if you can see if i if my option is our so use my our major and if if the option is not in day and hours then by default it will be in a minutes and i am returning the while value so let me add here one bar chart okay and after that what i am going to do i will add a machine on x axis and i will use this major values so here you can see and let me do some formatting so i'll go with the data level and in data level i will say positioning is fine value i will say none okay so here you can see and here i will what i am going to do i'll use i will choose a single selection okay so let me reduce let me go to let me format this values i will say i don't want any zero okay so let's see or i will say two so now what i am going to do now i have selected the in drop down it the days are selected so you will be able to see here the days if i select hour it will convert into hours and last one is in minutes so i hope this will be useful for you thank you for watching i request you to please subscribe my channel